Well guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry and today I'm going to make a wonderful um, cranberry jello salad for the holiday. Thanksgiving is two days away and this is another thing that you can prep ahead and get it out of the way and it holds for a couple of days. So we're going to be making this for Thursday. And this is one of our family's favorites. And there's a few variations. You can go a bunch of different ways with this. This is what I'm doing today. So I've got two packages in, in this measuring cup. I've got two packages, and these are three ounce packages, of raspberry jello. And I'm sure a lot of you have either seen this recipe or you uh, do it already. So what you wanna do, I am using, because I got these on sale, now I make fresh cranberry sauce for our turkey, but for um, this particular recipe, you can either use the whole berry or the uh, gel. And today I've got the gelled um, cranberry sauce. And, because they were on sale for 25 cents. I'm like, how could I refuse that? So in my two packages of raspberry jello, I drained off the juice from these pineapple chunks. And you could use crushed pineapple if you want. We like it chunky when we're using the gel. So I heated up a cup of that pineapple juice. Now we're gonna dissolve our cranberries. Oh, how easy is this? <laughs> it's such a nice thing to have on the holiday table. So even if you've got a different Jello recipe planned for uh, Thanksgiving this year, you could certainly do this for Christmas. Mm. Okay. Now that I feel like that's pretty dissolved, I'm gonna add my uh, gelled cranberries. And you wanna kinda get that broke up in there as well. And you can mash that around with your fork. And, oh, it's gonna be good. So we're gonna put this down in a baking dish and about an eight by eight to larger. This is a little bit larger. I think this is a nine, nine by nine. All right, so I've got the chunks pretty well broke up here. And we're gonna add a whole can. This is a 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks. And I like it chunky. I like it with just the crushed pineapple, but you get that sweet and that tart and oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's a nice treat to have on the holiday table. So now we have to wait. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into your dish. How easy is this? You can't get any easier, I don't think. Kind of push your fruit around to make it a little more even. And we are ready to cover this with saran wrap. And it's gonna fill this dish about halfway up. So then we're gonna move to our topping. After this is totally set, in a couple of hours, we're gonna come back and we're gonna make our topping, which is gonna be comprised of cream cheese, sour cream, and um, confectioner sugar. Okay, so our Jello has set up. And it doesn't take it as long as if you add two cups of water, which, or two cups of juice which you can do, but this is a, a very concentrated flavor. Um, I think you'll like it this way. So we've got one brick of room temperature cream cheese. We need one cup, and I'm just gonna eyeball it, half of this 16 ounce container of sour cream. You can't go wrong with this. Honest, I promise. Let's get this over here. I've got a bag of um, chopped walnuts. Just an FYI, they're 
less expensive. It takes one step out of the process. So they can put ugly walnuts in here and you don't really even know it and they taste delicious. So now we need a half a cup of confectioner sugar, powdered sugar, and I pack it in there pretty good. You're gonna have to be careful. <laughs> Get your mixer and put it on low. And my low is pretty fast. So now that I've got it all mixed up, I go ahead and fold that around. It's very easy to spread on the top of this. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so there's a good look. You can see how solid that is. Let me go ahead with this uh, sour cream topping. And you want your jello set, obviously, so you can spread this out. Be careful. Don't break it up. Put a dollop here and a dollop there. If you do break it up, no worries, because the nuts, we're gonna take care of it anyway, right? Oh, this is such a great thing to have on the table. If you go to, you know, a um, church potluck or a potluck at work, this is one of the easiest. Okay, so get this in here. This is one of the easiest little potluck dishes you could do. So really, really lightly, so you don't pull up your jello, even though it's okay if a little pink or red shows through, I don't mind. It actually makes it a little more enticing to see that festive color. And this sour cream and cream cheese mixture, it's slightly, ever so slightly sweet. Okay, now we've got the whole top covered pretty much. Don't be a perfectionist. And you can use, in this um, situation, you could use pecans, it's delicious. Um, but we're gonna do the walnut pieces. And how wonderful, roughly a half a cup, but you know, for you recipe followers, um, I'll try to leave the recipe in the about section below. I know a lot of you have to have exact, but I don't know. Life isn't exact. And what if you want to change some? All right. So to stretch this further and make a nine by 13, go ahead and put that extra cup of pineapple juice or, um, you can even use apple juice. I've used cranberry juice in the past, but it's pretty tart when you do that. All right, this gets covered back up and it gets to wait for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have been cooking all day, just about trying to get ready for my holiday as well as a couple other people. And um, I think I've got a handle on it. <laughs> but, oh, when you take the plastic wrap off of this dessert slash side dish, it's a jello side dish. You can smell it. You can smell the cream, sour cream and the uh, cream cheese. Now I'm gonna pull a Paula Deen and sneak in. Let's sneak in. Ooh. Let's get a nut. Ooh, and that sour cream and cream cheese topping has, uh-oh, somebody might know I was there, has hardened up a little bit and I'll fix that here in a second. <laughs> Okay, I've got a bite. Mmm. 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 It's so good. <laughs> it's very raspberry, but then it's got that tart cranberry and that creamy topping. It's not too sweet. It's not too tart. It's perfect. And the nuts, mm, over the top. 
So when you do uh, one of these, oh, what happened to the corner? Just push some nuts and some sour cream over there. No one will ever know. Sprinkle a couple more nuts on there. <laughs> Move stuff around. And it still looks perfect. All right, guys. I can't wait to see you next time. I hope you do this recipe. It's super easy. It's so, so delicious. And it's great to take for a potluck. It's inexpensive. Those cranberries were 25 cents. Um, I think the Jello was 60, maybe. So that's a dollar 25. I might have had a dollar in sour cream, and I buy my uh, cream cheese in bulk. So maybe maybe four dollars for this whole dish, and that's pretty reasonable, especially if you're going to go to a potluck, because you're not going to eat a large amount of this. It's going to be just a little sweet lovely side dish. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe. Let me know what you've got going on on your Thanksgiving table that might be in this kind of uh, a realm. Do you put sweets on the table too? Do you put uh, all savory? How do you do it? Let me know. All right, and go check the links below because I'll have some really good, fantastic deals. Right now, Amazon has awesome stuff. So if you're shopping for Christmas, just click on one of my links and shop away and it, it'll still help the channel out. You don't have to buy what's in the link. All right, guys. I can't wait to see you next time. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, guys. I'm so 